Jack, is it one step forward, two steps back, two step forward, one step back? What do you think? Hi, Kelly, and thanks for having me. You know, it, it, it's, hard, it's hard to know right now because your, your model home centers aren't open. Uh, you're having a hard time getting people on the job sites to finish these homes. You've got to distance out your trade, so you can't have too many people working in a house to, to, to finish that, that home uh, that you have under contract. Um, you know, the one thing I would say is this is going to be a very front-end loaded impact. You know, when you look at the financial crisis, it took two years really to reach uh, peak unemployment and, uh, you, know, decline, you know, meaningful declines in home prices took even longer than that. This is going to be very much front-end front, front end loaded. So the question really is, when do we come out of this? When does work start again? You know, what does unemployment look like? I mean, think about the builders. They're, they're really – the companies are really three things. One, they are um, transaction models, right? So you don't open the, the doors on a Saturday – nobody can buy a house. Mm -hmm. Number two, the capital intensive businesses, right? You, 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 you're owning land for several years forward because that's your, that's your inventory. And then three, it's a confidence game. You know, people aren't buying homes if they don't have confidence about their own, uh, you know, individual situation. Right. So all of that said, and I see how your recent note talks about how even the losers get lucky sometimes. You're about po positive on about half the industry. D.R. Uh, Horton, Pulte, Taylor Morrison, neutral on the rest. Why those three? Do they have better characteristics about exposure parts of the country? I think the overriding theme in our reset of our view is is really scale. And when you run through exactly what we basically did is we took a two-year trend in housing out of the global financial crisis and applied it to two quarters in our models and said, okay, what's that look like over the next two years then from there? And what you come to realize is two things. Businesses that are focused on the first time entry level buyer are likely to do better. Right? Those are life type events, marriage, child, et cetera. Those that are focused on the higher end or trade up buyer, those are more discretionary purchases. And you could see that demand being negatively impacted all else equal. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then the other piece is scale. You know, so for Pulte and Horton, two of the three largest builders in the country, when you run that you know, that significant drop, that air pocket of demand through the model, they tend to be more resilient because they're more geographically diverse. They have um, much better operating scale. And so the, the earnings impact is far, far less. No, and that makes sense. Scale uh, for any company in this environment important. And like you said, life events instead of just wanting uh, to move yeah. uh, houses. Jack, thanks. We'll leave it there for now. We'll check back in with you soon.